On May 25th, 2020, George Floyd, a 46-year-old black man, was killed in Minneapolis, Minnesota during an arrest for allegedly using a counterfeit bill. Derek Chauvin, a white police officer, knelt on Floyd's neck for eight minutes, 46 seconds, while Floyd was handcuffed and laying face down, begging for his life and repeatedly saying, I can't breathe. Officers J. Alexander Kung and Thomas Lane further restrained Floyd, while Officer Tao Thao, during the final three minutes, Floyd was motionless and had no pulse. While Chauvin ignored onlookers' pleas to remove his knee, he did not do so until medics told him to. The following day, after videos made by witnesses and security cameras became public, all four officers were fired. Two autopsies found Floyd's death to be a homicide. Chauvin was initially charged with third degree murder and second degree manslaughter, to which was later added second degree murder. The three other officers were char charged with aiding and abetting second degree murder. Floyd's death <sighs> triggered uh, demonstrations and protests in over 2,000 US cities and around the world against police brutality police racism, and lack of police accountability. In early June, the Minneapolis City Council took action to ban chokeholds and require police officers to intervene against the use of excessive force by other officers and voted to intend to replace the police department with a, quote, new community-based system of public safety. The Minneapolis police chief canceled contract negotiations with the police union and announced plans to bring in outside experts to examine how the union contract can be restructured to provide transparency and flexibility for true reform. Again, um, this has been really difficult to walk through each of these people's stories. The change that I, I pray happens in this country took too much blood and that's not fair these people were sons and daughters and they should be alive today that's just that's just the way it is but they're not i'm going to use my platform and my talent to help make conversations to help not just raise awareness but to make it a point that i think this is important and I feel in my heart, it's important. George Floyd's murder was the catalyst that set off something that I hope changes a lot of things. So I want to celebrate the life of George Floyd. I want to remember him. I didn't know him. I don't need to know somebody's whole story to say that I care about them and love them and their life matters. Okay. So I want to paint this portrait of George Floyd with red, white, and blue, because I believe that those colors should have saved him and not killed him.